Good evening. I am Mary Kate O'Hare, Associate Curator of American Art here at the Newark Museum. So on behalf of the Museum Trustees and Director Mary Sue Sweeney Price, I welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's panel discussion, Abstract Art, A Living Legacy. This evening has been planned in conjunction with the two Newark Museum Centennial Exhibitions, Constructive Spirit, Abstract Art in South and North America, 1920s and 1950s, and Blackout, a centennial commission by Paul Henry Ramirez. Constructive Spirit explores the conceptual connections and exchanges that existed between abstract artists throughout the Americas. And Blackout is a site-specific installation in the museum's Charles Engel Hard Court that allows viewers to experience painting as an environment that one can enter. We are delighted to welcome tonight's panel participants, an international group of artists including Lenora de Barros, Matthew Delegate, Paul Henry Ramirez, and Don Boisin. This evening's panel discussion is presented in honor of Elizabeth B. Richards, founder of the Friends of American Art at the Newark Museum. We are deeply grateful for Lisa's support of the museum's collections and development of outstanding programs. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank, to thank the major funders of Constructive Spirit and Blackout and their related programs. Prudential, the museum's centennial celebration sponsor, the Henry Luce Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, the New Jersey Council on the Humanities, Johnson & Johnson, and the Consulate General of Brazil in New York. We are deeply grateful for the support we receive from the City of New York and the State of New Jersey, as well as the many lenders, both public and private, who have committed important works to constructive spirit. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you, <coughs> who will moderate, who will moderate <laughs> the panel tonight. Matthew is an abstract painter, curator, and writer. He has exhibited his work nationally and internationally, including solo and group exhibitions in Europe, Asia, and Australia. In 2003, Matthew founded Minus Space, a platform for reductive art on the international level that is based in Brooklyn, New York. Minus Space's website, and you'll have to check this out, it's a wonderful website, is used by more than 800 people daily, which is very impressive, from 150 countries worldwide. Matthew has organized more than 20 solo and group exhibitions at both Minus Space's Project Space in the Gowanus, Brooklyn, as well as other collaborating venues on the national and international levels. He holds an MFA in painting and an MS in theory, criticism, and the history of art, design, and architecture from Pratt Institute, Brooklyn. Join me as we welcome Matthew and all of our panelists to tonight's discussion. Thank you, Mary Kate. Uh, welcome tonight's, to tonight's panel discussion, uh, Abstract Art, A Living uh, Legacy. Uh, again, my name is Matthew Delegate, and I'm an abstract painter. And I'd like to, uh, before we get started, personally thank Beth Venn and Mary Kate O'Hare and Linda Nettleton for inviting me here tonight to moderate uh, the panel for you. It's, uh, it's a real honor and a personal pleasure, so thank you. Uh, tonight we'll be, um, excuse me, tonight we'll be, we'll be discussing the legacy of constructivist abstract art. And we are very fortunate to be joined by three esteemed international artists, uh, Lenora de Barros, uh, Paul Henry Ramirez, and uh, Don Boisin. Um, I'm going to take a few minutes uh, right now and introduce uh, each of them to you and show you a few examples of their work. So uh, the first artist is Lenora de Barros. Uh, Lenora is a poet and a visual artist based in Sao Paulo, Brazil, uh, whose work includes video, poetic performance, photography, and sound installation. Uh, she has exhibited throughout Brazil and abroad, and she's interested in exploring um, the abstract, visual, oral, and material signs of language. And I'm going to show you two examples of Lenora's work. Um, one is a video and one is an audio sample. And Lenora asked that I um, sort of read the text to you before we start the video so that you understand what's going to be shown. Uh, the text reads like this, and the work is called um, Touch of the Eye. Uh, the hand that covers the touch of the eye cannot see. The eye doesn't live with no touch. So that's the, the language you're going to be seeing shortly.
The second work sample is a piece called No Place <coughs> Like Utopia. There is no utopia like a place. It's a sound installation uh, from 1996. And it's a three minute work sample. We'll listen to about a minute of it. There. There. A place. Utopia. There, a place. Utopia. Yes. No place. No utopia. There. There is. Utopia. There is. There. 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 No utopia. There, a place. Utopia. No place, no utopy. There, there is utopy. There is no, 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 like, like a place. 